The discovery of Oxalia quilombensis began with a modest expedition in 2004, aimed at exploring the fossil-rich Laje de Coringa formation within the Alcantara group in northeastern Brazil. This region had long been known for its rich Cretaceous deposits, teeming with remnants of ancient life. However, the team's expectations were exceeded when they uncovered fragments of a skull and several teeth belonging to an unknown theropod dinosaur. These fossils were painstakingly extracted and transported to the Federal University of Rio de Janeiro for further study. Detailed analysis revealed characteristics that bore a striking resemblance to Spinosaurus, a well-known dinosaur from North Africa. The new dinosaur was named Oxalia quilombensis in honor of Oxala, an Afro-Brazilian deity, and Quilombo dos Palmares, a historic refuge for escaped slaves. This naming underscored the cultural and scientific significance of the discovery. Oxalia quilombensis, like its North African cousin Spinosaurus, was a giant among theropods. Estimations based on the partial skull and teeth fragments suggest that Oxalia measured over 12 meters in length, with some potentially reaching 14 meters or more. Its skull, although incomplete, displayed a long, narrow snout similar to modern crocodiles, designed for a semi-aquatic lifestyle. This snout was filled with conical teeth that were perfect for grasping slippery prey. One of Oxalia's most distinctive features was its elongated neural spines. These spines, projecting from the vertebrae, likely formed a sail-like structure along its back, though the exact shape and size are speculative due to the fragmentary nature of the fossils. This sail might have been used for thermoregulation, allowing Oxalia to absorb heat from the sun or dissipate excess body heat. Alternatively, it could have been a display structure used to attract mates or intimidate rivals. Some theories even suggest it could have supported a fatty hump, similar to modern camels, serving as an energy reserve. Oxalia inhabited the tropical regions of what is now northeastern Brazil during the mid-Cretaceous period, around 95 million years ago. This environment was characterized by a complex network of rivers, swamps and coastal plains, providing a rich and diverse habitat for a wide array of life forms. The climate was warm and humid, with abundant rainfall fostering lush vegetation. The presence of extensive river systems and deltas suggests that Oxalia lived in a semi-aquatic environment. These waterways would have teemed with fish, crustaceans and other aquatic organisms, providing ample hunting opportunities for Oxalia. The landscape also supported various other dinosaur species, both herbivorous and carnivorous, along with a myriad of smaller reptiles, amphibians and invertebrates. This biodiverse ecosystem offered a rich tapestry of ecological interactions, with Oxalia occupying the role of a top predator. Oxalia's anatomical features point towards a predominantly piscivorous diet, much like its relative Spinosaurus. The conical teeth and powerful jaws were perfectly adapted for catching and holding onto slippery fish, which likely formed the bulk of its diet. Oxalia's long, narrow snout allowed it to snap up fish with precision, minimizing water resistance during the strike. In addition to fish, Oxalia may have preyed on other aquatic and terrestrial animals. It likely employed a hunting strategy similar to modern crocodiles, lurking in the shallows and ambushing prey with sudden, powerful strikes. This ambush strategy would have been effective for catching a variety of prey, including smaller dinosaurs, reptiles, and even carrion. Oxalia's strong limbs and claws could have been used to capture and subdue larger prey, showcasing its versatility as a predator. Comparing Oxalia with Spinosaurus reveals both similarities and differences that highlight their unique evolutionary paths. Both dinosaurs shared a common ancestry, as evidenced by their elongated skulls and neural spines. However, Spinosaurus is better known due to a more complete fossil record, which provides greater insight into its adaptations and lifestyle. Spinosaurus had a more pronounced sail, with taller neural spines that likely supported a larger, more prominent structure. This sail could have served multiple functions, including display, thermoregulation, 
and species recognition. In contrast, the sale of oxalia, based on current evidence, might have been smaller or differently shaped. Spinosaurus also exhibited several adaptations for a semi-aquatic lifestyle that are less evident in oxalia. For instance, Spinosaurus had dense bones, which helped it to remain submerged while hunting in water and retracted nostrils that allowed it to breathe while partially submerged. These adaptations suggest that Spinosaurus spent a significant portion of its life in water, much like modern crocodiles. The extent to which Oxalia shared these adaptations remains uncertain, but it is clear that both dinosaurs were well suited to their respective environments. The discovery of Oxalia quilombensis has significant implications for our understanding of dinosaur evolution and biogeography during the Cretaceous period. It provides evidence of the presence of large spinosaurids in South America, indicating a broader distribution of these dinosaurs than previously thought. This discovery also highlights the diversity of predatory dinosaurs in the region, suggesting that South America was home to a complex and dynamic ecosystem during the Cretaceous. Oxalia's existence supports the idea of faunal exchange between Africa and South America during the early Cretaceous period, facilitated by shifting continental plates and changing sea levels. This biogeographical connection helps explain the presence of similar spinosaurid dinosaurs on both continents, shedding light on the evolutionary pathways and adaptive strategies of these fascinating predators. As an apex predator, Oxalia played a crucial role in maintaining the balance of its ecosystem. By preying on fish and other animals, it helped regulate the populations of various species, preventing any single group from becoming too dominant. Its presence likely influenced the behavior and distribution of other predators and prey, shaping the dynamics of the entire community. Oxalia's interactions with other species would have been complex and multifaceted. It may have competed with other large predators, such as crocodilians and smaller theropods, for food and territory. Additionally, Oxalia's predation on herbivorous dinosaurs and other animals would have affected the distribution and abundance of these species, contributing to the overall stability and health of the ecosystem. Understanding the ecological role of Oxalia helps paleontologists reconstruct the dynamics of ancient ecosystems, providing insights into the complex web of interactions that characterized the prehistoric world. This knowledge also sheds light on the evolutionary pressures that shaped the development of various species, highlighting the adaptability and resilience of life in the face of changing environmental conditions. The study of Oxalia quilombensis is still in its early stages, with many aspects of its biology and ecology yet to be uncovered. Future excavations and fossil discoveries in Brazil and other parts of South America hold the potential to reveal more about this enigmatic dinosaur. Advanced technologies such as CT scanning, biomechanical modeling and isotopic analysis could provide deeper insights into its anatomy, behavior and ecological interactions. CT scanning could help paleontologists visualize the internal structures of Oxalia's skull and bones, revealing details about its sensory capabilities, brain size and overall anatomy. Biomechanical modeling could provide insights into its locomotion, feeding mechanics, and hunting strategies, shedding light on how it captured and processed its prey. Isotopic analysis of its teeth could offer clues about its diet, migratory patterns, and seasonal behaviors, providing a more comprehensive picture of its lifestyle and ecological niche. Collaboration between paleontologists, geologists and biologists will be essential to unravelling the mysteries of Oxalia and its role in the ancient ecosystems of Cretaceous South America. By integrating multiple lines of evidence and using cutting-edge technologies, researchers can continue to expand our understanding of this fascinating dinosaur and its place in the evolutionary history of life on Earth.